What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're back again this week with another video for you. So today, I'll be showing you guys how to build a 3D printed quad root robot. This is the first time I'm using my 3D printer for any Arduino project. And if you haven't watched our previous quad root robot videos, be sure to check those out. Those are very entertaining and informative. The things you need, we'll start off with the 3D printed things. You'll need four of these, four of these, and one of this. This is the body. This is the 3D printer pieces for one foot. You'll need an ultrasonic sensor, an Arduino Nano, two servo motors for each leg, which is eight servo motors in total, a six volt battery. It can be any type of battery above five volts. And last but not least, I'm gonna be using this custom made PCB to connect everything together. This PCB is quite simple to make. So all the source pins are connected over here. All the five V pins are connected in one straight line and all the GNDs are also connected in one straight line. And they're connected onto the five V pin over here, the GND pin over here, and the ultrasonic sensor holder, which is up here, is connected to the VIN pin and the GND from here, and then these two are the source pins are going. Digital pin number twelve and eleven. I hope that was clear. First we need to assemble the feet. We're gonna connect one servo motor like this over here. And the screw is gonna go through the top up here. And the other one is going to come over here and the screw is going to go from the top and this piece slides in right over here like that and then you can glue it on unless you have really skinny screws that can go through from here my screws are a bit wider so I have to glue it on okay. connect this over here and you just screw it in so now what you do is you get this piece I had drilled a bigger hole over here to put the screw down because this is really fat and the screw doesn't fit down there so you might have to do that, connect this over here, like that, it will fall out so you have to put your hand on it. Now you just put the screw in it, like this, and you get your screwdriver, uh, and now you just screw it in until it's good and nice and tight. And it will fall out. Put this to the side and now it's time to work on this one, which is really easy, all you do is, there, it's done, you just have to glue it from the sides or screw it down. I'm going to glue it because I don't have the right size screws. So now the next step is to screw on these two parts like this. Make sure the gear part of the front is facing downwards. And you get your second screw. Put it through here. You get your screwdriver, which in this case I haven't lost yet. And you just screw it in. So the next step is to arrange all the servos like this. Put some glue on top of all the sides. And here we have everything glued on. Before we move on with the video, I want to tell you guys, subscribe to Darkstone. Darkstone's channel is linked in the description below, so go check it out and also subscribe to him. So over here, you can see the first four servos. They're for leg one and leg two. So what I'm going to do to keep them all compact in, in one area, I'm going to rubber band all four of them. Connect the Arduino Nano on like this, and you put the part that you upload the code towards the back so that the digital pins are on the left and they're facing this area because you can see that all the digital pins are over here and they're connected onto these digital pins on this side if you connect it the other way then they'll be connected onto the analog pin so basically he's gonna glue them on like this after you glue on the PCB to your robot the next thing you have to do is connect the wires so the first thing you do is connect servo number one onto digital pin number two this is servo number one and this is the wire for it it goes right over here onto digital pin number two the next thing you have to do is connect server number 2 which is over here onto digital pin number 3 which is right behind digital pin number 2. So this is leg 1 done. Make sure the yellow part of your wire is facing towards the Arduino. And this is the leg number 1. Now it's time for leg number 2. You do the same thing on digital pin number 4 and 5. So this one goes on to 4, this one goes on to number 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So now we're going to go ahead, upload the code, and show you the walking mechanism of this quadruple robot. So here we have our robot, 
and the blue bin. I'm gonna walk forward and pretty much avoid the blue bin or just gonna stop it from the blue bin. And there, stops. Stop right in front of the blue bin, there's about 5 centimeters of space, so the sensor does work indeed. So here we have our 3D printed quadrup robot. In conclusion, it works very well on rough surfaces like carpets, mats, and it doesn't really work too well on hard floor or smooth surfaces, which might be a problem. You probably could solve that by putting a bit of hot glue or some sort of rubber at the bottom. And yeah, you don't really have to use a 3D printer. I used one because it's durable material, it looks nice and it works well. Cardboard might get ruined if you try it. We tried it earlier with cardboard. And yeah, stay, stay tuned for more projects like this. Our robotic arm is coming up soon, which is also 3D printed. So that was it for this video. Stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in a few more days.